players, and uh, I don't know if they've had injuries. I, I don't think so. I think they're you know pretty solid, complete team uh, as far as an injury standpoint. But I think the biggest thing is just kind of starting over at quarterback. Uh, yeah, but you know, Bobby's a great football coach. I mean, I was really concerned coming into this game. Uh, schematically of making sure that we had the right mindset defensively because they can embarrass you if you if you're not if you're not locked in because they they know how to attack you uh, they're they're very well coordinated they know what they're doing and so man you better be dialed in and and you know uh, and have the mindset because they're a physical team and everything's built off the run if they can get any type of run game going then then he can manipulate you big time with the boots and nakeds and and uh, the play action pass. Uh, but, um, you know, just proud of our guys. Yeah, go back to Tanner Muse. Last year, he seemed to get picked on from time to time. This year, it seems like he's really settled down back there and it's about it where to place his feet and where to be. Can you yeah. speak on Tanner a little bit? Yeah, he's so much more confident. You know, last year, he was a little bit of a cluer uh, and, and a little nosy. And, and, you know, he was that guy that people would want to pick on because he wanted to kind of blow everything up. And and so uh, and being on every play, and so people would use that aggressiveness against him. But he's just become more disciplined, and uh, and and he's just more knowledgeable. I mean, he plays more confident and fast because he sees it. He can anticipate uh, what's coming because he he's so prepped. Uh, he comes in every day on his own, studies extra tape. He's just a very committed guy to his preparation. And so he knows. I mean, defensive football is formation recognition, strategic situation, what comes off of it. And uh, so he gets it, uh, and that's, that's the biggest thing. And then he, as he's had some success, last year, uh, I guess he was a first-year starter for us. So, you know, guys get better. If, and if you got talent, you get a lot better. And uh, he certainly has talent, and, and his awareness and everything else has just improved tremendously. Special moment for you and, and Will on the sideline after he scored that yep. touchdown. Uh, he nearly had one in, in Tallahassee yep. last week. Um, what did you say to him, and how frustrating was that for him last week? Oh, shoot, he, he just kind of, you know, he was frustrated, but it is what it is. You just go on the next play. That's just that's football. But I was happy for him. Those guys, uh, uh, you know, they – they Tony made a good call and, and uh, it was well blocked. It looked like a pretty good run in there, but – uh, his teammates. The biggest thing for me is just seeing his teammates happy for him because they all know how, Will's Will's a grinder, man. He and he had a, he's had a great camp um, and has worked really hard. So good to see him be rewarded with that, and that was a pretty cool moment, you know, as a dad too to to just kind of see him out there. And then he got jacked up on the punt return. I think he got a penalty on that. Uh, he's kind of a magnet out there uh, for big hits, but I'm proud of him. I really am. That was real cool and and. Uh, Hopefully it'll be a good night in the Sweeney house tonight, and, and uh, oh, Kathleen might you know make me some dessert or cook me a good dinner or something. I don't know. Uh, so I, I was uh, I was I was happy for him. Coach, you spoke about Mitch's record. What does someone like Mitch, who maybe doesn't get all the fanfare, all the attention, what does he mean to this team and this program? Uh, he's he's the model of consistency. I mean, I mean really. I mean he, he's just such a great example. He's a very quiet leader. He does not say a whole lot. And really never has, um, but uh, he's got a great personality. But on the football field, he just man, he he's he is so competitive and so consistent. And you're talking about a kid that has started at left tackle since he was a true freshman, uh, and been in three playoff games. He's played Alabama three times. He's been in two national championship games, and and he just he's always there. Uh, he's always there. You can just kind of count on him, and he he practices the right way. He's always prepared. Uh, he's an excellent student. I mean, he's everything that that you want uh, a guy to exemplify in our program. And so, I, it's, it, and it's really again cool to see his teammates so happy for him because they know who Mitch is and um, how consistent he's been. So that was a that was a really cool thing to see him accomplish that. And I think he's uh, Maybe he needs one more game to, to be the all-time starter uh, in school history. He's already got it for a position player, but I think Cat and Zero started 52 games, so he needs one more game to, to get that done. Coach, with this win in the books, you guys have now won your last four games on average about 51 points. 
yet you have said the last few weeks, Tuesdays, Saturdays, and then the players have been saying too that there's still potential, there's still more growth. How much more growth is there that you see in this group compared to where they've already come this season? Well, there's a lot. I mean, you know, the first half, I mean, that first punt, we, 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 line, we don't line up right. I mean, and those are the things that can cost you uh, when, when the scoreboard's a little tighter. You know, those are things you control. And uh, we, we don't, we got a receiver that's not on the line of scrimmage. And, and so we had just gotten a first down. And so now it's second, nine, third, and nine. Now you got a punt and you give up, you give them good field position. Uh, you get a guy ejected because we get a targeting call. And so none of that had to happen if we just do the little thing right. And so little things lead to big things. And so it's just details and, and being fanatical about that, having a process, you know, when you step on the field. And, and you don't you don't you don't get out of that. Uh, so there's lots of things that we can do better, and we'll see the tape. And, and then the opportunity to coach some of these young guys that got in there, that maybe not don't get to play as much, but a chance to to grow them a little bit. So uh, defensively, like I said, I, I I didn't think we were very good on third down early at three third and longs, uh, but uh, you know gave up the kick return. I know it was mostly backups and scout teams out there covering – scout team guys covering the kick, but, I mean, they got a helmet and pads too, and uh, they practice. So, uh, every opportunity to coach our team, because you never know when, when it's going to be your opportunity. Coach, uh, Chase has been extremely uh, efficient, six for seven today, 110 yards, three touchdowns. How much of a luxury is it to have maybe <laughs> – Three touchdowns? Three touchdowns. Holy cow. How much of a luxury is that to have maybe the third best quarterback in the ACC as a backup? Yeah, he's he's a good player. Uh, you know, that's why y'all heard me say many times in the spring, and y'all, you know, everybody want to talk about uh, Trevor and Kelly, and, and I'd be like, you know, y'all don't need to forget about this Chase Bryce guy. Now he's pretty good. I'm telling y'all, and that's what you're seeing. And now what's happened is he's gotten some experience and some confidence, and and he's getting all these reps in practice. And he just goes in place. I mean, that, what a beautiful throw he made to, to Justin Ross. That was a great, great catch and finish by Justin. But um, absolute gorgeous play by him. But he's, it, it's, it's nice to know that we got, um, you know, two guys that, that can legitimately go and play winning football at a championship level for us. Uh, wish, we had, wish we had more. Uh, but right now we got two and, um, and, and a legit two that can get the job done. And the team has confidence in both those guys. Why was that uh, Mark Fields out there? He pulled his groin. Uh, so he strained his groin and uh, did not uh, – wasn't able to go uh, on, on uh, Wednesday and Thursday. How would you compare Kristen's running style with Dexter's, what you saw today? Uh, I have to watch the tape, uh, I think. But obviously, Christian, uh, more fluid, more athletic. Dexter, just more brute strength. Uh, did he run over a guy? Was there a guy in the hole? Uh, I missed the replay, so I didn't get to see it. But I'm, I'm looking forward to watching the tape. Did anybody go out wide with Christian? I didn't see anybody. Uh, I, uh, well, we just kind of a, you know, it's just a little split flow deal, and uh, so I don't know if the backer flowed or not. I didn't, uh, I didn't get a chance to to watch the replay. All right, thanks, guys. Thank you. All right, guys, thank y'all.